Howdy folks and welcome to Coffee and Tools. We really have something exciting for me in today because uh, I've been putting together a small solar package that will create some power to generate some electricity for the household things. And I had to actually take a look at this because this is important. Storage is really the big part of the big part of the picture when it comes to uh, storing solar power. It's, it's fine, it's easy to put some panels up, but you're gonna need a small controller to run the system with and then you you need storage and storage is kind of like this is the answer right here you know this is what you need but uh, we have this battery sent into us from lie time or lee time depending on how you pronounce that uh and what i want to get into is talk about the batteries and why this one here is probably the very best choice for a small system yeah let's start let's get into it All right, so after uh, a pre looking at Lee, time, Lee Time's assortment, this is the Group 24. This is a good size 100 amp hour battery. This is the kind of storage that I like because you can bank these things up and you can have a lot of them, but also this has a really nice built-in BMS system and also has a built-in built thermal uh, system protection for temperature, too hot, too cold, this still shut down on you which is fine because you really want that. You don't want to damage the battery. This, you've got too much investment uh, in a battery like this. If you do hear a cat in the background, because I hear the cat meowing here and there, uh, somebody dumped a cat on me. Uh, they do dropped it off uh, at, on the road here someplace, and I've been feeding it ever since. It's been here for a couple weeks now. <laughs> Anybody want a cat? Let me know. <laughs> yeah, the lead time battery is really the way to go for this type of system. This is... Uh, 12 volts coming in at 300 watts coming down from the roof of the barn here into this bus bar here. Now from the bus I'm wired over to the uh, controller. This is a very very cheap low price. I can't recommend it but really nothing wrong. It works you know but it is a very cheap controller so you're only looking at a few dollars for the panels because the panels were uh, 12 volt 150 watt, not that popular these days, but you can pick a couple of them up, sometimes locally used for very low prices. This is only around $10 from Amazon, so it's a very cheap controller. It's not something I would recommend using, but if, you, if you're if you at a budget, you know, it's it's it, it's you can do it. Now, from the controller, we come over to this bus bar, and then from the bus bar here, we're marked with a red and a black, and we come down here to our battery. So basically, that's the system. Now, we want to be able to draw the power that we store off the battery. So, of course, I've got this inverter bolted up here with the clips on the top. By the way, lead time uh, supplies the bolts for the top. It's a beautiful battery. It has a nice set of handles. It's not too heavy, which I really appreciate, too, because some of the batteries I've run into are the same type of rating like this, and yet they can be so heavy, they're, like, incredibly crazy. This thing is, uh, I don't remember the weight on it, but it was not that bad. And with the two handles to pick it up to carry it, it's really, really, it's, it's very manageable. Now, you can put these into parallel or series systems to have more voltage, of course, which is what I, I sort of deal in that anyways. This, uh, I wired the uh, panels and I'm set up for this just for today to show you guys, you know, the two panels up top, uh, controller, and we're, we're storing our energy here in the battery. What we do with that battery energy afterwards is up to you but in this case I just went with something really inexpensive but I went with a, the uh, 1000 watt inverter that has the readout here because I really like that so I'll tell you what I will I'll throw a link somewhere down below where you can find this the reason I really like this one is because it may, it shows the maintenance of the batteries to what the battery level is at and it also shows 120 volts of course ready to go out this thing is on it just left on all the time and it has a very low idle rating, so it doesn't eat the battery up. This, uh, I measured it the other night after we hooked up just to see how things were. And this ran, uh, right now she's something like, I think I've got 0.8 of an amp, which means this thing would run in idle without any load on it. It'd just sit here like this. Should be hundreds of hours before this battery would say, you know, run down and be dang dangerously low. But the big thing with any small system, even like this, you don't want an AGM. You do not want flood-filled batteries or uh, gel batteries. You don't want to be wasting your money on that stuff. What you need is at least buy a good lithium iron phosphate battery like this for storage because this battery here, you can run it down to 
you can run down to zero, I mean, and theoretically you won't hurt it. I don't recommend that. Uh, you generally like to get down to around 5% and say, okay, that's it, we gotta get this battery charged up. Now, this battery is not gonna get to 5%. It might get to 20% overnight at the very worst if I left some stuff on or you know something running. But with a thousand watts of power available here, uh, I can run quite a bit of stuff. And with a 100 amp hour battery, obviously I can run over, a I can run a thousand watts. I'll get more than an hour of run time out of this if I need it. Uh, I will give you an example though. A uh, 100 amp hour battery, let's translate that at 12 volts. Let's translate that, that's now 1200. So if I had a load here where say it was 300 watts, which is still pretty heavy, I could get over probably over four hours out of the battery before the battery would be out of the, you know, run out. It's just that there's, here's the thing, the features in this and the price is going to really actually, you are getting more for your money than if you bought any of the other batteries like the gel, the flood field and the AGMs and stuff. Those batteries don't come with, you know, a BMS system, like a battery management built-in system for charge and discharge. They don't come with the thermos systems that protect the batteries from getting too hot, too cold. And you can't run those batteries down like you can this. This will maintain 12 volts until it gets all the way down to almost the bottom, flat out. Uh, those other batteries that we talk about, the reason not to get them for solar is, is simply, if you get them down too low, such as like even just 10 and a half volts, you can be start you can damage the batteries and that's that's really sad because you know you don't want to be running out there and watching your batteries oh man if this thing hits ten and a half or something we're, we've got damage you don't want to have to have a system like that's a headache you know a huge headache where a lithium system like this could be run down and you could you could flatline by mistake or something and you're not going to kill a battery you know you shouldn't even be damaging it like again like I said it's not recommended but you can do it so the bat so a battery like this is really excellent for any small solar project but if you have a big project this is still a great battery because the price is so good uh, when I checked it I'll tell you right now when I checked it it was around I think it was 259 each that is a great price I've seen these up over $300 easily with the features of what this battery comes with so lie time or lead time here I'm still having trouble with that name lead time is still a uh, very very great product with a great features they've uh, they've actually they have improved the product over years too so this isn't something oh we'll just put it out we'll just leave it out there and you know if people buy it they buy it no no this has gone through engineering changes and improvements over the years so you're really looking at some technology built in there plus the storage for that price so you're really getting sort of like more than your money you just don't see it because it's in this nice beautiful black case you know you don't know what's in there there is storage but there's also other electronics and other goodies in there that's going to help give this a good lifetime and now i was going to talk about the uh this right here and the reason i bought this particular one was because it has a nice readout that i can put on the board here and see it really easily that I've got 120 volts here ready to go if I decide I want some power for some power something up, but also have 13.5 volts with a full battery. It shows that the battery is fully charged. Uh, if I was to shut the solar off, I would this would drop to probably should drop to 12.8 because that's really what we have. The reason is 13.6 is because I have 14 volts coming in from the solar roughly. And from the 14 volts plus the 12 volts in the battery here, so we're leveling off at 13.6 is what we're showing. You know, so it's it's just a matter of between here, here, and here's the you know it's a combination of shut the solar off completely, and of course this is going to correct itself and come to what's actually in the battery at that time. Well, if it can go wrong, it sure goes wrong around here. Uh, we had so much humidity, I had to bring a fan sit here, plug into the system, and blow on the camera lens in order to get the camera lens get the fog off. Humidity today is terrible. It's raining. It's overcast. We still have some solar power coming in, but the whole thing here that I really want to push is the fact that this is not only a great product, but I'm actually thinking about ordering some more and banking these up so that I can have a stack of them to run for you know higher voltage applications, which is what I normally would use. Uh, I set this up just today for you guys to see because it's, it's real basic with the 12 volt system. I don't recommend running 12 volt systems, but if you're on a budget and you want a small system, you can get away with something like this. And you know, look at the amount of power. I ran a fan. I also have this plugged in right now. It's a 300 watt uh, commercial light. It's lighting up my whole barn really well, like sunlight in here right now. Doing a great job. 
but the uh, battery is still showing uh, just about full. It's been about at least a half an hour since I started this up and plugged this system in. I had to run around and find a commercial uh, fan that I have here that's more like a contractor's fan to blow on the camera to get the lens uh, cleared up. Hopefully it doesn't turn foggy while we're standing here. <laughs> but I also checked gel batteries and uh, some other AGMs and stuff. The thing is, those are a couple hundred dollars and they don't include a BMS system for like solar package like this. They don't include that thermal protection like this has. So you're getting a lot more. I'm also going to show you a picture of the old uh, Lee Time battery and show you the new one. This is the old one and versus the new one. Now the new one as you can see is smaller, it's lighter, it's more compact but it's at 12.8 and it's with the 100 amp hour rating. It's a group 24 they call it which is kind of like the size of the good old car batteries we had when we were kids for our Mustangs and our Camaros and stuff. So it's a very, Group 24 to me is like really, it's like almost the standard size battery that we, we had growing up. If you're an RVer or a camper, this is great because it's not overly heavy but offers a lot of storage and power. And again, with a small system like this, you can charge this thing up and have quite a bit of power. Uh, Granted, even though it's raining and overcast really badly right now, I've still got some amount of solar coming in. Probably somewhere between uh, 75 watts or 100 watts, something like The panels will be way down from what they normally would be in the middle of the day right now because of all the overcast and the rain. But I've still got power coming in. So this is draining very slowly. So at 300 watts, and knowing this number here, and we had talked about this is actually 1200 watt hours if we convert to 12 volt. That means this plug here should be able to run on this for about four hours, which I don't need four hours of light in here. At least I hope not. I don't know what I'd be doing, but you know, it just uh, it's an example. So as we're trying to discharge the battery, uh, we do have the solar. I could shut the solar off completely, and that would give us a better feel of discharging the battery, but that's not really the point. The point is with a system like this, you can be using some of the power coming off the panels, even if it's a bad day like today, like it is, and that'll even extend the whole time situation. So you're going to get four hours plus whatever you get off the solar. So you might get a total of five or six hours of runtime with 300 watts. And I have added, I had a big fan running here for a bit to try to get the, uh, hopefully the lens stays clean or clear, you know. Uh, this is uh, two days later since we hooked this up because uh, I had to run the wife over to the hospital so that was not a nice situation but uh, we thought we had an emergency and we're still sort of uh, I guess you could say waiting for results like always and things but uh, meantime uh, I got back to this on Monday here so that we can sort of try to wrap this up. Uh, Lee Time makes a really great battery for a really great price and if you're going to do solar I highly recommend the lead time battery right here as being something that you can look at for the price and the features and get into it and you've bought you know something that's going to work well plus they come with a warranty and a, a nice instructional set they get a lot of paperwork comes with this guy so they do have a you know some some good backing and also i've been studying the company since 2009 and they have been improving their product the whole time so again that's that sort of gets my you know attention this is not somebody out of the blue that's making a battery or something uh, with and just stamping their name on it this is a company that's been around for a long time making batteries and trying to get better and better batteries lighter and more compact and at the same time offer you know good storage which with the solar package good storage is is that's that's really the priority that's the problem actually with uh, solar power you really need to be able to store and if you can create storage like this with these batteries great you know you are on your way to a good system uh, I'm just gonna take another look here but it looks like the battery is still staying roughly uh, at 12.3 volts on the system here the uh, yeah everything is just absolutely holding so uh, really I'm not discharging the battery like I, I thought I was going to plugging this heavy system in but uh, and this is a thousand watt with a 2000 watt surge so it's it's a pretty warm uh, running uh, system right now I don't know if the cooling fans are kicking in at all I don't no, I don't feel any fans running or anything on it just yet but she's running a little warm but she's you know producing heat normal but the whole basis is the battery that is that's all big key to the whole thing with storage and, and a good battery at a great price. I, I can't say anything bad about the situation here because really it's a great product. They've improved it and you know I highly recommend 
lie time. It's or lead time. I highly recommend lead lead time. I, I, I wish they hadn't changed their name. They did change their name. Yeah, that's, that's like, but it's um, that's fine. You know, I the lie or ILI is part of that lithium thing, I guess. So it was like, yeah, I guess that's a that's kind of a you know, it is what it is. But let's get back to the shop and we'll wrap this up. But uh, yeah, what a simple system. But it's providing a lot of power out here for anything I would need. Wow, at least it's not humid in the shop here. We're back over here where I don't have to dry the lens out when we get in here. Golly, what a mess. The last three days has been really rough around here. The other thing I gotta mention is a lot of times they'll give us a discount coupon and sometimes that's 24 hours or something later on or a couple of days or something, depending on what day of the week it is even. And so I invite you to check back on the video here and look at that description below because sometimes we'll offer a, a coupon code that'll get you a discount. This is already, like I said, a very good price. I was thinking we would be in the $300 plus dollar range. So when I saw the 259, I almost fell out of my chair. I was like, whoa, so this is the sort of battery that uh, you know I want to add to my system as I'm building storage and buy the batteries as I can afford them and just keep adding to the uh, storage system. Uh, to create a large storage system that can carry a lot more of the house sort of thing and get towards that idea of you know getting off the grid or at least supplementing I guess that's a good word supplementing the grid because that's what I'm doing right now as it is a lot of my stuff is running from my solar panels and using those uh, using that energy uh, I'm running at a high voltage uh, 36 volt is what I'm using but uh, again, like I mentioned, you know, to set this up, we set up a system that was just 20, uh, 12 volts, just so we could show you guys, you know, what a basic 12 volt system could look like. And I could have actually purchased a 1500 watt uh, inverter, which would take the budget a little higher, of course, but that would offer just that much more power. And you can do that if you have storage like this battery right here. So what a great product at a great price. And you know, I have nothing but, you know, wow, you know, awesome. I'm glad they sent this over to us. I gotta thank everybody over there at Light Time for sending this over because yeah, this is definitely a nice product. And it's definitely, if you're gonna build even a basic solar power uh, package for your shop, for your shed, for your workshop, whatever. Wow, you know, it's it, it just doesn't get any more budget friendly than that for quality and, you know, giving you the power that you need. So, I want to thank everybody for watching Coffee and Tools. Please like, share, subscribe, ring the notice bell, and I'm gonna get out of here over and out.